Deep in the darkness, in the heart of the Antiverse, was born a new and magical world. A world we've never seen before, nor created before. Forged in rock, with caves, vegetation, and precious crystals. Making up a new ant kingdom, fashioned through the collective votes from you viewers of this channel. Guys, the moment has come for you to check out this awesome new world we made into which will be released one of our greatest OG ant colonies. It's with great pleasure that I unveil the new Crystal Cave Temples, future home of our Golden Empire, that I assure you is unlike anything you've ever seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. Guys, I truly can't wait to show you around these amazing territories, which we the AC family conceptualized together to be the future home of our golden empire, our super colony of yellow crazy ants. If you think what you see here is amazing, wait until you see the entire territories, especially the unbelievably entrancing views later on in the video. Once the bed of crystals are illuminated after the lights turn off, this terrarium is outfitted with some truly neat technology and features we've never before tried on this channel. You won't want to miss all of this coming up, so stay tuned until the end. Also, while watching this video, do help me think of a name for these cool territories, will ya? But before I show you around, let's quickly recap how we got to this point and start with meeting the ants that are set to move into these mystical lands. Meet the Golden Empire our OG super colony of yellow crazy ants. The Golden Empire has been through a very turbulent and crazy history over the years on this channel. From terrarium revamps, to living with carnivorous plants, to colony wars, to living with predators like mantises and crayfish, to coming to close to dying out, to being revived, and finally to this moment where their old home, the Hacienda del Dorado, is being replaced with a new home. The colony has been living in an AC ant farm setup for the past two years since they were saved and quarantined from their last mite plague. And as you can tell by all the brood and eager queens, the Golden Empire is finally ready to inhabit a great kingdom once again and take their place as one of the most resilient and glorious ant colonies in the Antiverse. Over the past few weeks, I've been collaborating with you guys to help me vote for a design for the Golden Empire's new terrarium home. And in the end, this great and mystical Crystal Caves Temple-themed terrarium is what we came up with. I've made a few design changes and added some really cool features that weren't in the original plans. It's just before sunrise in the lands at the moment. Most of the territories are shrouded in darkness. The terrarium actually has three different light phases. Dawn lighting, as you see here, daytime lighting, as you'll see shortly, and my ultimate favorite, the crystal light show, which you'll get to see at the end. The three lighting phases truly bring out very different, unique moods and looks of the land. The first thing you might notice is the fine mist that covers the lands. It helps keep the grounds moist and the caves humid. I love blowing the mist clouds around. Watch. <sighs> Throughout the varied topography of the rockscape, are patches of living moss, rockweed, and beds of crystals. I just love the combination of the dark rock, the greenery, and gemstones. Combined with the mist and this golden lighting, it truly creates a mysterious and ominous ambiance. Have a look. The crystals are actually made from broken pieces of tempered glass. My initial idea was to use real crystal geodes throughout the setup, but in the end, I decided not to use them as it would be hard to have them illuminate the way I wanted and saw it in my head. Plus I also heard that some crystals can be toxic if they get wet, so I didn't want to take that risk with our ants. We also were initially thinking of using different colors of crystals, but I changed my mind last minute in fear that it might not look as cool and might seem a bit unnatural with multicolored crystal beds. But trust me guys, when you see the crystal light show later, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. 
But perhaps one of the top features of these Crystal Cave territories is this sacrificial altar. Created using rock and chain link, it's on this slab of stone where we shall offer the ants, roaches, and feeder insects, like sacrificial offerings to the colony. Oh, I can't wait to see the ants swarming out from their underground nests to feast on the gifts we place on this altar and drag them into their caves to feed on. All right, so now you've seen this section of the territories, but you may be surprised to know that this is only a small portion of it. AC family, I think you guys will be shocked to see how vast these lands actually are. AC family, behold the Crystal Cave Temple world in its entirety. What do you think? Isn't it awesome? Now before we enter this insane vast ant world, we need to stand back because right when the full lights come on, an important event happens in these territories. Here it comes, guys. A storm rolls through the lands, misting all rocks, plants, and decor. This storm will help keep the territories humid, plants watered, and the grounds moist for nesting when the ants are all moved in. The storm comes to an end. All right, guys, and now we can enter. Let's have a look. The first thing I want to show you guys is that this entire tank has a unique shape. It's pretty much an open concept tank with only a short glass wall at the front, allowing us to really get in and film the ants living in these territories. Eventually, we'll be adding a waterproof slippery barrier called Fluon all around the glass so the ants can't escape. The next thing you might notice is the amazing landscape. The lands are composed of amazing rock shelves from which a network of shadowy caves are connected within. It's inside these caves where I'm hoping the ants will nest, particularly in these darkened bottom regions of the lands. I've stuffed these lowest cave spaces with digging medium, and hopefully the ants will love these areas for nesting space. The middle caves will be more of a sheltered and darkened upper floor area for the ants. Initially, we had planned for the ants to have these caves be totally up against the glass, but then I figured, no, let's give the ants the privacy they need to nest and trade it in for no glass at the front, so we can have a complete, unobstructed view of the ants living here. They'd likely end up covering the glass with digging medium or debris anyway, to shut us out from their private lives inside the nest. I think this setup is a good compromise between us and the ants. Again, all around the rock shelf are living mosses and rockweed, which I know will grow and expand over time, making the lands more and more green, just as it did in the Ember Islands, the home to our Phoenix Empire. I really love this rock land bridge here. I think the ants will truly love all of this naturally designed space to explore. Over to the west of the lands, you'll see these towering temple ruins with massive wooden roots running through them. I think this makes the territories look really cool, aged, and sacred. Like it's the ancient home of some ant civilization. Very appropriate seeing as the Golden Empire is one of the oldest colonies of this channel. A similar collection of temple ruins can be seen in the eastern parts of the territory. It's also here where you can see this cool addition to the lands, the Golden Empire's very own waterfall and pool. In their old home, the Hacienda del Dorado, the Golden Empire ants had their personal pool and waterfall, so I felt it was definitely something that needed to be added to these new territories since it proved to be a great source of water for the colony, as well as a good population control mechanism. As some of the weakest, less nimble ants would drown and be eaten by their resident kraken water beast, a blue crayfish. I plan on doing something similar in this pool. Let me know guys what water beast you think we should add to this five gallon pool of water here. The fog is injected into the territories by way of a fogging machine right near the waterfall, making this end of the tank the most humid part of the lands. Being such an open setup, it was important that the territories do not dry out, so I've made sure to outfit the living space with enough moisturizing agents. Now guys, have a look at the crystal beds. During the day, I find they look truly stunning, sprouting up from the rock in little groupings both inside the caves and outside. It's amazing how crystalline, broken-tempered glass can look, right? By the way, if you guys want to try making crystals like this at home, you must make sure you use tempered glass pieces, just so you don't have crazy sharp edges which can truly cut you up if you try using regular glass. 
Tempered glass is essentially treated glass that is designed to shatter into little pieces. With more blunt edges, these pieces have a crystalline gem-like look when grouped together. But guys, though you might think these beds of crystals look cool now, it's now time to show you how they play a role at making these territories one of the coolest, most beautiful terrariums we've ever made on this channel. It's time to turn off the lights and witness my favorite part of this crystal cave temple world. AC family, I'm pleased to present to you the crystal cave temple lights at night. Guys, here's where you can just sit back for a few moments and enjoy the spectacular view of our glowing crystals, a natural wonder for us to behold together for the very first time in all of Antiverse history, here in our new crystal cave temple world for ants. Isn't it just amazing, AC family? They're kind of like winter Christmas lights, right? The first time I witnessed the crystal beds glowing, I was awestruck. The bluish light was bright enough to create a breathtaking, supernatural glow combined with the mist, creating an awesome look and feel within the caves, almost giving the illusion that we were under the sea or on some otherworldly mineral illuminescent planet. Each of the crystal groupings were outfitted with fiber optic lighting, which was low enough to not disturb the ants nesting in the caves, but bright enough for us to see the inside of the caves and hopefully see the ants moving all around the crystals. And so guys, that concludes our full tour of our new crystal cave temple world for our golden empire. Do you think the ants will like it? I sure hope so. So now that you've seen the lands in all its splendor and epic features, I have a question. What should we name these one-of-a-kind ant territories? Let me know in the comments, and the AC Senate and I will choose our top favorites for us to vote on in a future video. I would like to thank you guys for helping me create this unbelievable ant world. I couldn't have done it without you. I appreciate how I can always rely on you guys to be there for the ant colonies of this channel. The various ant kingdoms we've watched rise and fall, and various ant homes that we've created together couldn't have happened without you guys watching these videos and supporting the ants from afar. I'm sure if the Golden Empire could understand that each of you out there from around the world have been cheering them on over the years, they'd be forever grateful to you guys. It's because of you that the Golden Empire can rise once again to take their throne as one of the reigning ant colonies of the Antiverse. Now that all was said in the Crystal Cave Temple grounds, it was now time to move in the ants. This was going to be epic. AC family, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I can't wait for the Golden Empire to move into these territories. How about you? So many more ant videos are ahead. So if you haven't yet, do smash that subscribe button and bell icon now and hit all so you get notified at every upload. Also, don't forget to hit the like button every single time, including now. It would really mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you. AC and her colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would like to watch extended play footage of these Crystal Cave Temple grounds, go check them out. And guys, in case you haven't heard yet, our AC Holiday Sale 2020, where you get 20% off our AC Ant Tower Small and AC Hybrid Nest Mini, is still in effect at our shop at AntsCanada.com. And on top of that, if you use the promo code AntLoveForever2020, you get our Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook eBook complete with care guides on specifically commonly kept ant species, totally free, which you can add to your cart before checking out. Our easy to use ant farms, which you see me use in my videos, make an awesome holiday gift for anyone who loves ants. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. Plus, if you didn't catch a queen ant this season and need ants, just visit the Queen Ants for Sale tab on our site to look for an ant colony seller in your area. Just a reminder that though it's too late to order for delivery before Christmas, 
This awesome promo still continues until January 1st, 2021. So visit AntsCanada.com today and get your discount to own your very first AC ant farm and pet ant colony. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, which ant colony living in Antopia was your favorite and why? Congratulations to Prince Ken, who answered, the weaver ants are my favorite ants because of their choice in nest location. Congratulations, Prince Ken. You just won a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. In this week's AC question of the week, we ask, what is your favorite feature about this Crystal Cave Temple terrarium? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could also win a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever.